Can I help you? You can talk? Let me guess. You're an app marketer and you want to grow your app user base through in-app advertising. Yeah. Let me break it down for you. Let's start with direct. Let's say this block is an app. You can go to each app and buy ad slots to show your ads. This is great if you know which app you want to show your ads in. The downside is scale. Imagine going to every single app. It would take forever. Another downside is that you'll be paying a fixed price to show ads in each app. Next, you have ad networks. An ad network is a company that aggregates apps by category. This could be by vertical or by region. This is great if you know what kind of apps you want to advertise in. The downside is also scale. You're only reaching a subset of apps out there. You're also paying a fixed price to show ads for each subset. Next, you have ad exchanges. Think of these as open marketplaces where you can buy ad impressions in real time. Instead of paying on a fixed price, you can bid in real time on a per impression basis, which can come from many different apps. This is great if you want to buy in real time and at scale. The downside is that you will need to do some research on what the best buying criteria is for you. And finally, you have the demand side platform, also known as DSP. A DSP is a tech platform that helps you buy across multiple ad exchanges. DSPs use powerful tech like machine learning to help you make smarter buying decisions. Machine learning. This is great if you want to buy intelligently and get even more scale. The downside is that you will need to trust that the tech works. So which one do you think is best for me? Well, depends on what you're looking for. If you want to advertise in a specific app, Direct is the way to go. If you want to advertise in a specific vertical or region, Ad Network is the way to go. If you want scale and real-time bidding, Ad Exchange is the way to go. If you want scale, real-time bidding, and automation, DSP is the way to go. Thanks, I think I know what I want. Um, how do I get started? That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and comment below if you have any questions. See you in the next video.